about Jeff Okuda. Can we talk about Hefe? I know y'all don't like Ohio State players. I know many of you guys wanted to be quick to call him a bust after only 10 career games, which is maddening to me. Let's talk about Jeff Okuda against Scary Terry, one of the most up-and-coming receivers in the league, making plays hard to guard. Let's talk about one-on-one -on -one press man coverage, mirror coverage, shadow technique. This ain't easy to do as a defensive back. Look at the stance. Locked in. Me and you out here on this island. Terry's going to come off the line as if he's going to block. Trying to get Jeff Okuda to overcommit to the run. Just look at the discipline in his stance. High on the toes. Ass in the air. Where are we going? That's what Jeff wants to know. And then as he tries to break, hands were within five yards. This is press man coverage. I'm going to press you. I'm going to press you. I don't care about your speed. I got technique on my side. And when they talked about technique coming out of college, this is what we was hoping to see earlier in his career. Look, stays with it, running the route with the receiver. I don't care about what the quarterback's doing. I got this locked up, eyes on the ball. So now any hand inside is clean now because I'm defending this pass. Uh, must have been a very good call from the sideline here. You know, they go, ball, ball, ball. He gets his head around. And Scary Terry, Scary Terry ain't so scary. He never has a shot at this. And man, Hefe with some more beautiful coverage. And he has been on a tear off the play action fake, throws it up there, and it's just locked down by number one, Jeff Okuda. Quarterback's best friend is. If it's not a middle of the field lurking safety that always has his back, it's definitely going to be an offense that can, a defense, excuse me, that can generate pressure on the quarterback. And here you're going to see generate a lot of pressure on Carson Wentz and you get to put Jeff Okuda out on an island here this is third down he knows they need to get deep they need yards they need to score points right I just love I mean I think Jeff Okuda's back I don't know what he's back to but I think he's back in terms of his development how he's taking the coaching and how he's applying it he was absolutely fantastic Again, very patient in his coverage. Maintains his outside contain. Knowing that this route, is that is that good film study? Does he know the route that's coming? Has he seen this formation? Has somebody told him what to expect? Who knows? But as you can see here, he's going to do this jump cut and try to come back outside and just watch the hips, the Achilles, the ankles, the, the way he just flips and is staying with this receiver. This is great coverage. They never had a chance to complete this pass, and Jeff Okuda was absolutely locked down on this rep right here. So we need to see more of this. Great job here at Deshaun Elliott, who has been... We're going to have to have a talk about Deshaun Elliott. I, gotta put, I, I called him out week one when I shouldn't have. Got to put some respect on Deshaun Elliott's name. He's been a solid addition for us. A uh, guy I really like coming out of Texas, uh, the Joker. Uh, if you remember my uh, film sessions from 2017, you know he was one of the guys that's featured, so it's really cool to have him on the team. And he's still a, a game wrecker as he's always been coming off the edge here, blitzing, going to get to Carson Wentz, get him on the ground, force him to throw this inaccurate ball. I think either way it goes, this ball's up. Okuda's in position to pick this off, or if it comes back this way and it's uncatchable, I'm still here. It's just great coverage. And uh, it's time to put some respect on this young man's name. He's going to have a tough, tough task going up against Justin Jefferson next week. So I wanted to make sure I gave him his flowers early. Literally all of his flowers before, you know, he goes up against Justin Jefferson this Sunday in Minnesota. Uh, this game, I've got to give him his flowers for it. We're going to see two nice plays here, one in coverage and then one in uh, run support technically still coverage on the screen pass, but this is Okuda doing everything right. What I like most about this set here is the understanding of the route tree. Corner gives an inside release, right? Okuda doesn't play the inside though. He doesn't over pursue. Knows he has help inside here. 
He's going to sit over the top of this route, continue his outside contain. Then when he goes into breaking this thing back outside, he's literally still mirrored by Jeff Okuda. There's nowhere for him to get to Terry McLaurin. Uh, and the pressure ends up getting to Carson Wentz before he can throw this thing out of there. Uh, and there's Charles Harris with the pressure. I'm just so impressed with Jeff Okuda and the way he's come out and played in this game. Um, he has a great understanding of where he is on the field, and it looks like he really understands the route combinations that the commanders want to come out and, and use. And then here we get to talk about being physical, down in the box, press man, uh, and not letting a wide receiver block you. They're going to run the flare screen. This receiver is going to come up to block him and just look violence. Get off me. Go get the football. Uh, Jeff Okuda is a man on a mission this year. And I'm, I'm happy for him to see him having some success after he was called a bust really early. Again, look at the hands. Violent hands at that. This rip. Go get some of that football. Great game by Jeff Okuda.